Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defence Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defence sector. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence on 21st March has said that it found considerable delay in the supply of 40 LCA Tejas jets from HL. The government should consider buying state-of-art fifth generation fighter aircraft to counter the losing time and keep up the force in comfortable position. However, the committee failed to discuss the reason for delay. The order of 40 LCA Tejas consists of three variants, which is 16 FOC, 16 IOC, and eight twin-seater trainer variant. While the production of 32 single-seater jets have been completed, the trainer jets production has started. With such a small-scale order, three different variants, the delay is obvious. While Indian Air Force need more 4.5th generation fighter aircraft like yesterday, it does not need an expensive imported 5th generation fighter jet like F-35. What Air Force need is two to three additional squadrons of Rafale to meet its interim challenges. India must expedite the development of its own 5th generation fighter aircraft like AMCA, which is awaiting CCS, that is Cabinet Committee on Security approval for development of its prototypes. The CDR of the AMCA is expected to be cleared by this month, which also need to be expedited. In an interview with The Week, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Vivekram Chaudhary has given some important updates regarding India's fifth generation fighter jet program, AMCA. As per CAS, the draft preliminary service quality requirement or PSQR have been forwarded and Indian Air Force has reviewed the detailed design prepared by DRDO after undertaking the comprehensive design studies on the project. Typically in an PSQR, the Air Force would specify the essential and desirable parameters which it expects in the aircraft. Considering the fact that Indian Air Force has already reviewed the detailed design, the MOD should release the fund for AMCA program to commence its prototype development. Now, during Defence Expo 2022, the AMCA's project director AK Ghosh has said that the first prototype of the aircraft is expected to roll out in three years and the first flight could take another year and a half. So the expected rollout time for AMCA would be somewhere in 2025 or 26 and the first flight by 2027. CAS has also said that Indian Air Force will be fully involved in design iterations, flight testing and program management of the project. Induction of AMCA is likely to commence in the middle of next decade, that is somewhere in 2035. Now, ADA will develop five prototypes for AMCA once the funding approval is given, which will be used for flight testing. And each aircraft will cost close to Rs 900 crore. However, this cost will reduce further when the fighter jet enters into full-fledged production. Now, since AMCA is an indigenous fighter, it would be still 50 to 60% cheaper than the imported aircrafts in its category. At present, the development cost of AMCA is estimated to be around Rs 15,000 crore, which is awaiting approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security. HL, which is the development partner for AMCA, has commenced the sourcing and manufacturing of certain parts such as metal cutting for titanium bulkhead of AMCA aircraft as a part of technology development had commenced on July 13, 2022. The full-fledged development of prototype will commence only after the approval of the fund. Now, in order to fast-track the development AMCA and IMRH program have been placed under SPV or Special Purpose Vehicle Model, which involves private players with majority of stake. Now, the idea behind giving majority of stake to private players is to speed up the procurement process involved in the development or the production of the aircraft. Now, this will avoid the bureaucratic red tape RFI and RFPs which we have seen in the PSU procurement process and reduce the cost of overall development and production. The SPV would be involved in prototype development as well as serious production and in providing a lifetime cycle support to the Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force has planned to acquire seven squadrons of AMCA, which will include two squadrons of AMCA Mark I and five squadrons of AMCA Mark II. 
The Mark Work variant will be powered by 2GF414 INS6 turbofan engine capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. However, it will not be sufficient to provide the fighter super cruise ability that is cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner section of the engine. Apart from engine, the Mark 1 will also feature an imported ejection seat. However, the other components which includes sensors, avionics and flight control systems are going to be indigenous which is going to increase the percentage of indigenous component in the fighter jet to 70%. The introduction of indigenous engine in AMCA will further increase the indigenous content to 90% which we can see or expect in Mark II. The AMCA Mark II will feature indigenous engine to be developed jointly by DRDU and Safran which is expected to be ready in next 7 to 8 years but that's very optimistic timeline. It is expected to have some of the 6th generation technology such as direct energy weapons and ability to launch unmanned aerial system. Due to much powerful engine, AMCA Mark II is expected to cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner section. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.